G'day guys, welcome back to Cakes by Chopper. Today we have the pirate ship for you. I made this for Imogen, who's Nico's daughter from Nico's Kitchen. Over the past couple of years I've watched Imi grow up on YouTube and it was quite an honour to make her birthday cake. So what you're going to do is get three large A4 sized flat cakes, level them off. I've went with the chocolate here and I cut two at a time and then used one of them to cut the third. This helps you get an even cut on the cake and you're not trying to dodge around the height of it. Using all the offcuts, you're going to build up the back and the sides. The design of this cake gives you a little bit of freedom in if you don't want to do an old style ship, you can just do a flat ship, a plane ship, you can turn it into a yacht. It, it's up to you. Um, we went for the classic old pirate ship. Trim away a bit of the front and the back, tapering in to give it a more rounded shape at the bottom. Um, you don't want to affect how sturdy the cake is, but you just do want to take a little bit off. Then you're going to fill it with a vanilla buttercream, and we coated with a chocolate buttercream for the crumb coat. Then you're going to pop it in the fridge and let it set for a little bit once you've got the entire cake coated in the buttercream. This will help when you're applying the fondant. I've worked with fondant quite a bit and covering a shape like this can be difficult. Um, I had a few troubles with it and because I'd set the crumb coat, I was able to lift the fondant off a lot easier with a lot less mess. Like I said before, I had a bit of trouble covering this one. What I ended up doing was covering half, cutting it off neat and then covering the other half to get a proper cover from each side because you won't ever see the cake in its entirety. You can only ever see it from an angle. Um, and I used a little trick here of patching up all the joints. So where I'd, I'd got it smooth on the sides and nice, it's a bit of a process and it looks like it's not going to come together, but it will. And then you cut out sheets and little lines like this and cover them up and use them as a detailing. And nobody will ever know that under that is a join in the fondant. So there's a little trick. It's not how well you can do a cake, it's how well you can hide your mistakes. Once you've got all the little joins covered with details and you're happy with it, you can start putting in some little features in woodwork panelling. I drew lines all around the ship and then sectioned them off at uneven parts and then drew in a few little squiggles and swirls to make it look like a wood panel. And then in each corner I poked in some holes to make them look like little rivets, little nails and then you're ready to start colouring. As always, if you want to use a brown fondant, by all means go ahead, I just prefer the airbrush effect. I have many other videos with the airbrushing effect, if you'd like to check them out, subscribe, we do a new video every Friday. How much detail you put into this part of the ship is up to you. I went for darker corners and a few little wood spots and just spent a little bit of time making it look like as close as to wood as I could get. The best thing I would suggest is try both ways, see what you're most comfortable with and have fun with it. Don't stress too much, just enjoy what you're doing. Okay, on the day that we made this cake, I didn't film making the mast or the sails or any of the little details we put on. So I'm gonna show you a quick way here. By cutting an A4 piece of paper in half and then half of that into quarters, and you're going to draw a little top flag for the top of the mast and a flag for the back of the ship. Um, I did different shaped flags and it looks pretty, pretty cool. Then I folded them in half and cut a slight rounded edge, as you can see. And then that will be the main sail and the top sail. This is a really good way to personalize the cake because that's someone special. Um, get creative. Now for the mast, I took three bamboo skewers and tape them together so they're secure and then nine and lay them out along the tape and wrap them around the other three so it gives a thick base and then a skinny part at the top and then put a little cross section of skewer that is the width of the top of your mainsail and you just tape it to it cut out a little slip 
It's a bit crafty. You just fold it over and now your sails are attached. To give it a bowing outlook, use a little bit of tape at the back. You can see here, slight bit of tape, whack it on, it's done. And repeat the same process for the top sail. Lay a tape at the top, cut out a little mix, apply the skewer, and then tape it on by folding it across the top. And then apply a small piece of tape to the bottom so it'll bow out. And that's your mast and sail done. That's the easiest way I found. Um, let me know if you have a different way. Now for some little features on it, I made some little lamps. I covered a piece of skewer with some fondant, rolled a cylinder, and gave it some ridges at the bottom and at the top of the lamp, and also a handle. Then you paint it with some edible silver paint. Um, even though this is a paint, it is completely edible and it has no flavor. And there's some lines down on where the glass bowl would be. This video is short as possible. I just took some photos of Nico putting on the accessories with Imogen. Um, this was such a fun thing to do together and I thank Nico for letting me come into his kitchen and do this. Uh, it was so much fun. I'm glad Imogen enjoyed her cake. It was a big hit. All the extras you want to add on to this are totally up to you. There's plenty of stuff in the stores that you can buy to dress up your cake. Get creative with it and have fun. Now you know how to make a pirate cake. Thank you so much guys for watching. Please check out my other videos and I'll see you for a new one next Friday.